Hey Buena, welcome to a very unique episode of BTV. My name is Annette Herrera. I am currently a sophomore living in this crazy situation. And today the Film and TV 2 class has a very special episode just for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Like many schools, athletics are a huge part of the curriculum. But with all of this coronavirus stuff happening, what's going on there? Take a look. Hi everyone, BTV hopes you're having a wonderful day. We hope this abnormal return to school has given you hopes for the future of Buena. As most, if not all of you know, we were initially supposed to start a hybrid schedule in August. However, due to the spike in COVID-19 cases taking place in Cochise County in July, we couldn't risk going back to school. Fortunately enough, the cases did start to go down in September, allowing schools to follow through with the hybrid schedule as planned in August. Well, better late than never, but how about for the future of Buena, you may be asking. Thankfully, football was able to continue back up again. Different is definitely to say the least. Here is how it has affected one of our Buena athletes. It's nice to see that sports have been able to continue in this unusual time. We hope that everyone stays safe and healthy. One of the best parts about Boyne is all the classes that they have for students to take. Despite the difficulties presented by COVID-19, CTE classes like Automotive are still working hard to make sure that their students are learning to the best they can. Automotive is one of the many programs offered here at Boyne High School. But like every other program, auto has faced changes to the way they work during this pandemic. Oh, my favorite thing about auto, that would be the uh, hands-on thing that we get to do because we get to actually work on it and touch things. Yeah, it has changed quite a lot because we have to wear masks and all that stuff now. Uh, the best part about automotive collision, I would have to say, is the experience that you get from it because it's unlike anything else at Boina because through this program, I could actually get my first ASE certification that way if I complete it through Buena at the moment. Despite the virus, Buena's automotive program is helping students succeed in the automotive industry, and they all look forward to being back in the shop again. The number one reason why people tend to give up so fast is because they tend to look at how far they still have to go instead of how far they've gotten. As school administrators across the nation were planning the safest way to do school this fall, one of the biggest hurdles was figuring out the best way to have lunch. Traditionally, this is a time in the day when hundreds of students gather together and can't wear masks because they need to eat. So for Buena, this had to come up with a creative solution in order to make this school year possible. During this pandemic, Buena has been adapting to this current situation, and lunch is one of many changes that affected not only the students, but the staff. The, the hardest part was probably figuring out, you know, where each teacher, what time they would have lunch, and then making sure that everybody was kind of in an organized way how that would happen, um, you know, because we have to make sure that teachers can have lunch and have that specific break that they have to have. Um, so that was probably the most difficult part was just arranging the bell schedule and, and how many times the bell is going off during the class period, um, things like that. The staff had a difficult time knowing when and where students needed to be at lunch, but how does this affect the students? I feel that this lunch schedule is good for stopping the spread of coronavirus and from preventing any outbreaks from happening throughout Buena. No one knows how long this pandemic will last, but we know that it won't be going away soon. Students and staff will have to get comfortable with the new schedule and hopefully eat in a safe environment. Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out a way to climb it, to go through it, or to work around it, by Michael Jordan. When school teachers begin their job as educators, most will admit that the first year is the hardest. But now, because of the international pandemic, which has forced everyone to do things differently, to throw out how things were done before, and try new things, 
Teachers, like students, are having to work extra hard as they learn to do their jobs all over again. Teachers all around Buena are having a struggling time finding ways to work around online and hybrid learning. It's not fun because uh, science is one of the more, the more uh, hands-on learning classes. So um, doing experiments virtually is really difficult. During this time, our science teachers have been gaining more and more info on how the coronavirus works. They've been finding ways to take that info and turning it into lesson plans for students to learn. Interesting thing about um, the COVID-19 situation is you're seeing science in action. And that's something that the public normally doesn't see. They see the end result. And um, when science is working, you're constantly looking at and reevaluating your hypothesis that you're working with. And so things are constantly changing. And so that's normally been hidden from the public eye. And so now in this situation, you can see that. And that causes people to like, kind of like, well, what's going on? They said this, now they're saying that. Um, but that's all naturally the part the course that science takes. Um, just normally we go through that process and then we like, oh, wait, no, it's this, no, it's that. And then when the public gets to see it, we've already gone through that and we've got it, no, it's this. Hey guys, I'm Pam, just reminding you to stay positive and life is like a camera. Focus on what's important, capture the good times, develop from the negatives, and if things don't work out, take another shot. With everything that has happened this year, sometimes we need to let loose and have some fun. With friendly competition, of course. We have a good show to show you guys next. It was something fun filmed between the culinary and film TV class. Today we have judging is Miss Floss and Chef Avalos. Okay, I guess we should dig in. We'll start with the first contestant, which is Jonathan. This presentation looks good. I, I like the presentation. The, and I also like the noodles that he chose. That too. penne noodle? Yes, yeah. Nice garnish on top. Is that parsley? I love parsley. Yes. Especially when it, it looks as Brings pretty up. as it does. Mm -hmm. The white. Mmm. Notes of lemon. Mm -hmm. I can definitely taste the lemon zest. This pasta is cooked perfect. It is. It's not too al dente, but it's not overcooked. Wow. Really this is good. A, amazing. Amazing. Taste the garlic bread. Okay. What kind of bread did Jonathan use? <laughs> this is a French bread. Mmm. Mmm. Not overly strong. No. That's good. Absolutely delicious. Okay. Let's try the next one. This 
So this is Journeys. Looks like she used a different um, pasta. She used fettuccine noodles. I also love the presentation on the different style of plate. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, you still have your bread on the plate, mm -hmm. which is nice. Okay. She also used parsley. Nice creamy Alfredo. Delicious. Very Not nice. too heavy. She did, I don't know if you got yours, but on mine, there's a little burned on this side of the bread. The one no, was mine perfect. Actually, my you got two perfect ones. I Like it'll, be a little. it'll be interesting to compare yeah. to see if one is stronger because there's more on. Mm. I think spreading out the garlic really did help. I get more garlic. Mm -hmm. This one I kind of just got like a little bit of garlic. Mm. That was really good, right? Delicious. Oh man, now I don't know if I can choose. Mm. Okay, I think I've made a decision. Shop person is. Oh! oh. <laughs> I still love you, man. It's okay. okay. Journey, your garlic bread Perfect. tastes beautiful. So I want it. Journey's garlic bread and John's pasta. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome job, guys. This is so much fun. Sometimes you need to step outside, get some air, and remind yourself of who you are and who you want to be. Extracurricular activities have been mostly shut down here at Buena High School. In an effort to reduce the possibility of spreading the virus, basically all in-person gatherings have been canceled. But thanks to the lowered number of COVID-19 cases in the state, some schools were able to open their sports programs again. One sport able to profit from this was volleyball. The Buena Girls volleyball team was awarded the title of 2020 Southern Region Champions despite a global pandemic. Emma has been playing on the volleyball team throughout all of her years of high school. Despite all the challenges the girls' volleyball team had this year, they still worked hard, played hard, and came out on top. This strange school year is unlikely to end anytime soon, but doesn't mean we can't make the most of it. We still got each other. Here at Buena, what we want everyone to do is succeed. If you're feeling overwhelmed right now, you're not alone. Almost everyone else is feeling overwhelmed as well. They're in the same boat as you. So. Let's be there for each other. Feel free to ask for help, or you can also ask people how you can help them. If you don't know where to go, reach out to us at BTV and we can help push you in the right direction. Feel free to message us at on our Instagram or Facebook. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for our first BTV news segment of this year. Hopefully we can continue to put together some of these episodes for you guys. And if there's something you want us to cover, just let us know and we'll see you around. Most likely in a Google Meet, of course. All right, cool. Bye.